Hi, and uh, welcome to Connemara Shooter. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an archery video. Um, I'm new to archery myself, uh, I'm trying to get into it because uh, I recently purchased second hand, like, uh, second hand, second hand, mind you, I should say, um, uh, Jennings Buckmaster. And I really like the looks of it. Um, basically, what I'm going to be showing you today is on the bow at the moment, down here, it's missing a little loop called a D loop. Um, when you have a quick release trigger, uh, which fits onto your hand, um, which I'll show you now actually. This is what I'm talking about, quick release trigger. Um, the actual name of it just eludes me now at the second. But I'm um, pretty sure you know what I'm on about. Or at least you will when I show you. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, you're pulling the bow with this. This just clicks onto the string. Like so. And it stays locked. It's, it's a trigger, basically. So that stays locked onto it. You don't have to touch it. Well, obviously, you don't touch it because it'll let go of it. So you pull your bow back with this. And um, when you're ready to fire, you just click it open like that. This one's a very hair trigger one, this one, um, which is great. Um, but basically, that has to give grab a string. So, you don't want it really grabbing this string, because um, you'll find over time it, it could wear through it. And uh, you don't want to be re, re bowling these things, they can be awkward enough, like especially the older ones. The newer ones um, basically take into account on their design and they're not as bad to do. But these all these slightly older ones can be pretty tough to do, especially if you're not, if you don't have the gear to put it on. Okay. So basically what you want, it's, uh, I bought these online now, these are specially for it. And uh, I would advise to get the proper proper ones for this because uh, uh, I found that out the hard way and uh, I marked my hand. So another thing you need to buy is a bracer. Um, you'll definitely buy a bracer when you get caught here with a compound bow. Um, so anyway, uh, I got these online. Uh, online they were six euro, I think, uh, for a pack of four. And uh, basically what that does, it goes onto the string. Uh, you'll be a little D-loop coming back like this from the string. Um, you clip this onto it, and you pull this instead. So this is, the red bit is tied onto the string, so it's not wearing the string. The only bit that's wearing is this loop. So, and you just replace it when, when it's worn through. Uh, or showing signs of where you don't want anything to break in, in, in the middle of something because uh, a compound bow can be very dangerous. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do a close up of this uh, of me putting this on the bow. Sorry, the first thing you're supposed to do is just give a burn to the end of this. Just want to mushroom it a bit. Okay, so come around. I'll put under like that. around and up underneath like so okay. 
keep a little pull to show you. That's what you're looking at there for the first knot. Now the idea of the mushroom on the end of the the end of the um, end of the cord is to uh, obviously stop it slipping through. Give that a pull, a pull. With the pliers. Now the bottom knot, knot, is. Done in the opposite direction. This will give you an even pull on the string when you're using your bolt. You go under, in through, around. around the back to show you that again now slowly come around the back in under like so around And up through. Like so. Now you want to leave enough for the arrow to be able to rest in here. Enough for the arrow to, sorry, I'll do that again. You need enough to leave be able to let the arrow rest in here that um, when you're pulling this here the arrow still sits in here without touching the back so I'd say we're not too bad there Gonna cut that off there. I'm gonna burn this end as well just to make sure it doesn't slip. Just flatten it down. bit of a flat head. Pull with your pliers. Give me that extra tiny bit. That's perfect. And there's your D loop.
Okay, so uh, that's a quick uh, tutorial on uh, D loops. And uh, if you like the video, please press that. Uh, please press like, and uh, by all means subscribe. Um, and we hope to be back with uh, some great videos in the future. Okay, have a good day.